What's going on guys, Greg De Palma. I'm out here in the garage and I wanna shoot a small video for you guys, basically how I organize the inside of my boat. And I'm also gonna show you one extra thing that I do to my boats that I've done since the very beginning of time. So we're already in the back of the boat, let's start right here. So in this compartment right here, basically what I have back here is like the meat and potatoes, all the heavy, heavy stuff uh, as far as what I carry inside the boat. Uh, you guys probably all know, maybe you don't know. Reason being, you wanna keep a lot of the weight in the back of the boat to give your front of your boat a lot of good lift. Uh, for example, some of the boxes back here. This box right here has got all minimas in it. Size and color, very organized. I can see what exactly what I'm grabbing. I can also see when I'm starting to get low on stock as far as what's inside of here. Very organized, big part of fishing nowadays, especially at the highest level. So besides that, this one's all skirts. This box is really heavy, believe it or not. Uh, like I said, back here, some of the stuff that's in these boxes, this is all like fuzzy beavers, beavers, very dense, very heavy plastic. Uh, these ones right here are all brush hogs. That's a heavy box. That's a real heavy box. Same here, big giant worms down in the St. John's, we using them up. So one thing that I basically do to all my bass boats, all my compartments, is I go over to Home Depot and I grab this foam sheet right here. Uh, this foam sheet comes in a set of four. They're a lot bigger, like two by two or something. A set of four for 20 bucks. And what I do is I cut them out exactly to fit nice, snug, and tight. And the reason for that is because, you know, let's face it, these boats see a lot of big water a lot of times, a lot of rough stuff. So all that stuff is in there just banging around. So that allows a lot of these boxes to be protected, protects your baits, and protects your bass boat. That's the biggest thing for me, protecting the investment. So coming over this side, this side for me has always been my tool chest. So extra oil in case I need it. I got my ratchet set. I got drills, jumper cables, extra prop. Uh, this is a cool little product right here. I started using this year actually halfway through. It's like a bungee system for your bass boat. It's built to make clamp, you clamp down. Very, very cool little product. It's called a Rainier Supply Company. Check them guys out, pretty cool little product. Uh, you know, moving forward, so this is kind of my center console box in the bass boat. This boat has, or this box has what I constantly use all the time. It's got buffs, I'm always wearing buffs. It's got my call tag, it's got my scale, got my call and beam, so I'm always in this box constantly getting stuff out, putting it on the fish. So moving forward, this box right here on a Phoenix, this is kind of like my little tiny day box to where if I'm practicing or maybe fishing a tournament, if I got a soft plastic, like I trash or cutting baits off and you know trying new ones, I kind of take this out, end of the night, take all the plastics out of there, throw it in the trash, or take all the baits and put them all back. Cool little box. So this one right here, uh, they're not in there right now, but this one's always my dip and dies and markers. Always been that since day one, great box for that. Uh, one cool uh, feature Phoenix has, this is a 920. One cool feature they have is uh, a rod locker, a passenger rod locker. Uh, you know, in the Elite Series, we don't have co we have marshals nowadays. So if I go out to, let's say, a new body of water, I have no idea about, I want to bring some extra rods. So this will hold four rods, it'll hold an eight footer. Uh, you know, I put overflow rods basically inside of here, that's what this is for. Uh, coming up to the, the rod locker, I don't have rods in there right now, but kind of the same deal. I had the foam down inside of there. See, I got it cut perfect. I got the foam down inside of there. Uh, you know, even though this is a carpeted rod locker, the, the, the reels really take a beating in, in big water. So that protects the fishing reels and the rods just by having the foam there. A little backer for them, great little thing. So this box right here, the more business side of the boat, this is where I have all my hard baits. Uh, like I said, I, I carry a little bit of terminal tackle up front, not much. I carry just what I need. Uh, you can see everything's labeled very nice, very nice and neat. Grab my square and go box out. So I'll tell you guys a quick little story. Uh, for you guys that know me, you know it's already true. For you guys that don't know me, so basically I won't make a change on something unless I see a reason to. So this year I went 100% with Flambeau all the way around the whole entire boat. Last year I had in the boat basically every brand you can name. Uh, these are the Z-Max, these are, these are the new series. Uh, so these are basically 
boxes that are supposed to be 100% rust-free boxes. The box I had last year was just a regular Flambeau box with just the Z-Max uh, dividers inside of them. And that was the only box I had in the entire boat that had no rust at all. So I was kind of sold right there. This year I went for the new Z-Max. These are supposed to be the deal as far as no rust whatsoever. You guys can kind of see, same deal. So as far as my tackle, I keep it very simple. You know, I got my reds, my bright colors, my natural colors, and my translucent colors. Very simple. All the way through the whole entire boat, that's how everything is. And I do it all by size too. These are all square bills. You know, shallow and square bills. So one of, the, one of the real cool boxes that I liked, you guys saw the 4510 box in the back. So this is also a 4510 box, but this is called the 4510 divider box, like a filing box. So what's so cool about this box is same thing, very organized. So if I want shaky heads, I just go in there and I grab my shaky heads. Like I said, I only carry what I need. I don't carry anything extra. All my extra stuff is in the back of my truck. So I love this box, great idea. Like I said, everything underneath all these compartments, all padded, even underneath here, all padded. Everything's padded, nothing can break, nothing can get hit real hard. So now this is, this is the part where I always struggled with, was right inside of this compartment. And the reason I said I always struggled is because for years, I tried everything. I've been doing this long enough to where I tried it all. And I think I finally nailed the best system possible. So last year and years prior, I either did like bags or maybe Ziplocs, uh, you know, any kind of bag system. It just was not working. And the reason it wasn't working for me is because I never knew my inventory. And I also never knew where to find a certain color because I was digging through a bag trying to find all that stuff. And I just did not like it. So this year, I use them 4510 boxes, and I label every one of them. So if I want a, a riot base little fuzzy, bam, I go right into a riot base little fuzzy blue steel. I already know where it's at. Not only do I know where it's at, I can visually see all my inventory, and just like that, I can pull it out, close the box, seal the deal, and I'm done. Very, very organized. This compartment right here, uh, this compartment for me has always been clothing, uh, real light stuff, extra clothing, rain suits, that kind of stuff. Nothing crazy up front. Like I said, I only carry exactly what I have to, and that is it. So, just to show you an example of like, if I was to, you know, this year going to the St. Lawrence, if I was to go to a smallmouth lake, I go in the back of my truck, I pop the toad open, very simple, I dig down inside of here, and I can pull out my smallmouth tote or smallmouth box. These are the base that I consistently throw for smallmouth. I already know that. I've been doing this long enough. So what I got to do is pop out the big largemouth stuff, you know, swap it, put this in there. Done. Very, very organized and very simple. Same with the box, same with the plastics. Very simple. Um, you know, I have that tote inside here too. This one right here and here. The reason I have a designated tote for just that because that's all swim base. You know, that's the only thing I have a, a massive ton of. So that's all swim baits. So that's basically my organization that I keep inside the boot. I hope some of these tips help you guys out. And uh, I'll put some of the links below for these boxes if you guys are interested. And that's basically all I got, guys.